Hello guys, welcome back to Expresso Poker Channel. I'm EasyRU and I'm going to be showing you how to build uh, quick filters so you can filter your game uh, depending on the stack size. Uh, this is important for all uh, tournament players uh, because uh, we are playing with different stack sizes. This doesn't apply to cash that much because usually you should be playing with 100 BBs or more. So, um, anyways, let's get down to the business. Uh, I'll first show you how to build the filters for different stack sizes. And then, at the end of the video, I will show you how you can quickly just uh, switch uh, positions. So you can see how things are going. Or, you can then use those to build different positional report, uh, quick filters too. So, let's get down to business. Uh, it's a fresh uh, install of PT4. I switch computers. I got a new computer, so everything should be faster and quicker than than on the older videos too. So uh, this shouldn't be too long of a video. I hope you will learn something. Please click a like and subscribe, and let me know what would you like to see on this channel. Uh, more of these PT4 uh, videos or uh, just something live play or uh, hand analysis or something. Let me know please. Uh, thanks to one of the uh, one of the guys uh, commenting uh, I decided to start investing on this channel again. Uh, thanks for all the subs. You have been growing quite nicely. During my hibernation time I had uh, computer issues i had work issues i have all i had all kinds of issues but now they're all sorted 2020 uh hashtag new me new year whatever okay let's get down to the business first let's build these fil quick filters so what we want to do is we want to be doing uh, hand details and uh, we want to choose player as the hero and then we go here pot size and stack depth we go for the preflop. Of course, we can build stuff for a flop torn river play, but I think the preflop is one of the most important things, especially on the spin and go uh, format. Obviously, also on the MTT and SNG format, but uh, preflop is very easy to look into. We, of course, we use the effective stack size. So we la let's build from. Uh, uh, to from 0 to 7.9 so this is like uh, when we shove we don't min raise here anymore so uh, we shove or limp here so um, or fold so let's see how that add we add that to the filters and we save this as a quick filter uh, so we do it with uh, zero uh well i'll just put very simply like 8 bb it's not 8 bb it's technical so we don't get cross uh, data so we use 7.9 and then the next filter will be 8 to like 12. okay so here we do we'll uh, save and apply filters boom <laughs> of course lots of hands played uh looking pretty solid uh, kind of running above the ev2 but uh, nice uh, nice bb per hundred ev bb per hundred um, uh, okay then we'll go here we can clear that and we'll do the next uh, stack that so uh, i i recommend that if you're not uh whoops wrong place if you're not um uh, spin and go player if you're a mtt player snj player uh, how you do the filter sizings uh, you do them by evaluating your game and you probably you should probably know the how you play well enough that you know when you do changes on your strategies for instance like when you defend a lot or when you stop defending like your blinds uh, when you start three bit shoving so uh, for a uh, uh, hyper turbo formats where you start with the 25 bb or less it's pretty simple to do this but for uh, 
bigger games like MTTs, even uh, deep stack MTTs, you you will have to look into the look into the uh, the ways you play different stack sizes and then filter those uh, strategically changing sets of stack sizes to your filters. So that's pretty simple. Okay, so now we have the next uh, from 8 to 12. Uh, and uh, we'll save that. 8 to 12 BB. And we'll look into that. Okay, we're seeing not going that well. Okay. And we'll do more filters. We'll clear these. So we'll add filters again. And players hero. Oops. And effective stack sizes. And we'll do 12 to. to 15.9 and we'll do 12 to 16 BB okay then we'll add more filters. And we'll do 16 to 20. So 19.9. Sixteen to twenty BB. And one more. Oops, wrong again. Player is hero, and we'll do effective stack size is to 2200 so here we can use 100 on a hyper turbo formats because uh, occasionally in spinning goes you get uh, people knocked out on the very first hands and uh, after a few hands you could be looking at situation where you have a, a heads up situation with uh, 30 bbs or so effective so uh that's why we use them more. But for MTT and SNG players, you'll keep adding from here, like 20 to 25, 25 to 35, and 35 to 50, 50 to 75, and so on. Whichever way, you, you know your game. You know when you start doing adjusting to your game. So use those uh, adjustment points as your reference points for these filters. Okay, so here we... Here we are, uh, we'll save that as, as 20, 20, 200 BB. Okay. Now we're looking good. Boom. Let's see how that goes. Okay. So, let's see. Now for the, what I said, the teaser. Um, we can start doing positions. So uh, either way here, you can do either more filters and save them or just uh, use these uh, uh, stack sizes and then you can do all sorts of uh, quick filtering on your own. But of course, you can save them if you want to have them all here on the drop down menu. But uh, for instance, now we can do this and we can add a filter and we can do player position, pre-flop, 
uh, of course we have to remember that uh, our uh, hero is the hero is the one that we're looking at because it's on the on the uh, BB filter but we'll do exactly zero so now we're looking at button game we'll add that so now you could save this as uh, 2200 button but uh, I'm not gonna do it because uh, I can just um, uh, look and save and apply filters boom <coughs> so here we are of course we can do like uh, look into that uh, showdown non showdown winnings and so on so well, not bad not bad I like it I like it uh, kind of running hot, hot there but uh, anyways uh, then we can do more filters uh, then we can easily just click this away add a new filter go to hand details uh, pick the position again pre-flop and exactly now we can do a small blind so nine nine is always the small blind eight is always the big blind and zero is always the button so for uh, uh, for um, for this situation you can uh, just use this okay so small blind uh, boom we'll add that and we don't save this you could again save this as a quick filter small blind for this stack size but uh, we don't need to do that because we can just quickly look into it like this okay not so savvy but now what we can do uh, maybe we can let's go um, let's go okay let's do it like this uh, let's try a smaller stack size and um, Oh, wait, let's do even, uh, let's do this, okay, there should be more situations, so now you can do more filters, uh, what you can do here is then again, you can do uh, hand details, so instead of, uh, uh, you can do it like this, so you can do number of players, and uh, uh, into the hand, and you can do two. So now you can look at the. Now you can look at the. Oops, oh, sorry. You actually do have to. You actually do have to save it. So add that. So now we are looking at heads up situation at the effective stack sizes. And then we'll do. Uh, We'll do play position and pre-flop, and we are looking exactly at big blind. So now we have a hero between 16 and 20 BBs uh, in a heads-up situation in big blind. So instead of uh, saving this, we can just add these save and apply filters because this is the one that we have on the save and these are just extras you can just quickly look into this oh god i'm doing terribly but then again we can think that uh, basically you should be losing a lot more so not too bad but yeah this is a very easy way when you have the base when you have the base you can just look into the situations and uh, build on top of these or then just save more uh, I like this uh, way of uh, keeping things fresh so I usually use these so it's easily addable just add whatever you want here and then the, the base of the stack size will always be the same but uh, some people prefer having a ton of quick filters ready to go on the menu so depending on what you like uh, build your filters accordingly uh, but this is also a good way to look into like if you are running uh, if you feel like you're running horrible or something right? so you can just uh, look into smaller volumes uh, how are you doing on those what's going on in the smaller volumes uh, are you actually running horribly or not
So yeah. Anyways, I hope you like this video. Uh, tons of stuff you can build with the quick filters, and they're they're very good to evaluating your game quickly. You can see what if you're leaking. If there's something like if you're doing horrible here, if you like if your EV is doing shit in some of these. Uh, and on a on a larger scale, then you can look into the hands. So you can go to the reports, do a hand report, and choose a, a quick filter for the hand reports. So like, um, uh, let's make another video about that. But yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, let's not drag this too long. So. Uh, I hope you liked this video, uh, more videos to come, please let me know what else you would like to see uh, so I can uh, uh, have the channel more effective and uh, you will find it more fun to watch. Uh, thanks for this uh, and I'll hope to see you soon on the channel, please subscribe, join the clan and have fun on the tables, good luck and we'll see you soon, bye.